Hello my dear students, welcome to the MS Science Academy. Myself Minu Srivastava and today we are going to discuss about the laminar flow equipment. Okay, or laminar air flow cabinet. Okay, uh, it's a topic of the unit 4. Okay, in this, uh, uh, in this uh, lecture we will discuss about the laminar air flow equipment, its working and its type. Okay, so first of all the laminar air flow chamber has or the laminar air flow cabinet has the some synonyms like laminar air flow chamber also termed as laminar air flow chamber laminar flow cabinet and the tissue culture hood because in the tissue culturing the laminar air flow is must uh, um, uh, is the um, um, needed it mostly needed in the that in the lab okay so it's also not termed as a tissue culture hood okay so how it will define it is a chamber where the aseptic conditions are created with the help of UV light and the HEPA filter. If you want to see the complete or the HEPA filter in the detail, you will see my mechanical sterilization. You will type MS Science Academy mechanical sterilization and that I have described that HEPA filter in very nicely manner. So if you want to, dis if you want to see that how the HEPA filter will, will work and uh, in that video you can see. Now he in this video I have not described the HEPA filter uh, that how the HEPA filter work. I just and uh, just gave the detail give the detail about the laminar airflow cabinet. In that laminar airflow cabinet, as the HEPA filter installed, it has the pore size around the 0.2 micron, and in this and uh, that. Uh, uh, in this pore size, the filter uh, it will retain the bacterial cell and M dot O means microorganism and particulate material. Okay, so such kind of the material will remain outside, uh, remain outside. So air will become very much highly, uh, at air will become high sterilized condition. The air flow velocity here, it's a 0.36 meter per second or the point, uh, to the 0.56 meter per second. If you want to see the data in the feet per minute, it's 100 plus minus 20 feet per minute. If you want to see the data in centimeter per minute, it's 230 plus minus 90 centimeter per minute. Okay, the laminar airflow cabinet has the some basic uh, just uh, installations like filter pad or the pre-filter assembly, a fan or blower, the HEPA filter and switches for UV light, visible light and the blower. Okay. So here the filter pad, the filter pad filter the air before entering the blower. Okay. So here suppose that this is the filter pad, the air will, uh, this is the filter pad, just this filter pad slice the air and enter into the blower. This blower pushes the air towards the HEPA filter. Blower pushes a stream of sterilized air through the HEPA filter. So here the sterilized air and uh, the, uh, the air sterilization work start before the blower itself and after the blower the HEPA filter uh, before the blower the filter pad will sterilize the air and after the blower the HEPA filter will sterilize the air. So the sterilization of the air will become twice. Okay, so here the how the laminar airflow work before starting the work on the laminar airflow cabinet first wipe the stainless steel platform with the help of ethyl alcohol. Ethyl alcohol is a, just a working bench. You can see the diagram of the laminar airflow here. So in that laminar airflow you can see that the stainless steel bench that's a uh, complete uh, uh, that uh, uh, HEPA filter switches and all those things you can see in this diagram. Okay, so here before starting the work, you can wipe the stainless steel platform with the help of ethyl alcohol and after that close the flap and switch on the UV light. Okay, the UV light when you are switching uh, the switch of the UV light present outside from the outside the chamber and when you just switch on the UV light, you should keep very much far away from the uh, laminar airflow because the UV light it's a quite carcinogenic so it will harmful for you also if it will harmful for the microorganism it will harmful for you also so you will just switch on the light and just keep away from that and uh, that's laminar airflow okay after the 15 to 20 minutes just switch off the UV light and after that switch on the visible light why we are switching on the UV light uh, that uh, visible light because the laminar airflow cabinet 
is covered on the three sides okay so when we want to work on that working platform on the stainless steel platform it's a quite darkness in the cabinet so we have to start or we have to switch on the visible light okay it's a just like simple tube light as present in our rooms and the, our houses okay now open the flap open that chamber will open this just like in the in flap is present so just open that flap and again wipe with the ethyl alcohol and just switch on the blower okay switch on the blower and start working okay the laminar airflow has the two type vertical laminar airflow and the horizontal laminar airflow the vertical laminar airflow you can see the diagram here that the vertical laminar airflow has the laminar uh, has the HEPA filter on the roof side okay so here in the vertical laminar airflow the HEPA filter located on the top or the roof okay so air pushed downwards on the working benches so here the um, pre-filter is installed before the blower as the pre-filter sterilizes the air and the blower just uh, push the air in the circulating uh, duct here is the duct which circulate the air and pushes toward the HEPA filter in that HEPA filter just air pushes downward on the working benches directly and the excess air will remove on this exit side okay so here <laughs> the HEPA filter will just locate it on the top and the air pushes downward directly on the working bench. So it's good for handling the hazardous material. So here the vertical laminar airflow it's good for the uh, for dealing the hazardous material because the airflow is directly towards on the working bench. Okay the disadvantage is that it's a quite expensive because the HEPA filter it's double installation the HEPA filter has the double installation on that uh, uh, on that vertical airflow okay second is the horizontal horizontal in the HEPA filter is installed horizontally okay so in the horizontal HEPA filter as you can see the diagram in the horizontal HEPA filter you can see that in that uh, HEPA filter that uh, the HEPA filter will install it uh, installed it in that side wall okay so here the horizontal and the HEPA filter installed in the side wall here okay so HEPA filter will install it in that side and just air pre-filter is present in the downside I have not drawn here so pre-filter and blower is present in downside and the air, blower push the uh, air on the HEPA filter side and the air just run away from this side excess air will remove from this exit side okay so here the main uh, advantage is that it's a uh, less in price as compared to the vertical air, uh, laminar airflow but it's not good for the hazard hazardous materials because the airflow is not present on that uh, directly on the working band so here it's a uh, flow of the air not directly focused on the working area so here um, we can say the uh, airflow is not present on the directly on the working bench so it's not quite safe as compared to the vertical air laminar airflow i hope you have just cleared this point if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section otherwise please like share and subscribe thank you